Personal protective equipment in construction. In construction, different site personnel has its own responsibilities. These employees are working together to achieve a common goal which is to complete the construction project that they are involved in. From blue-collar to white-collar job responsibilities, each had their own contribution to get the project done. Site construction involves a vigorous activity which is often prone to accidents, risks and maybe hazard to the lives of the workers involved in a construction project. Nevertheless, the safety of each individual working in a construction environment is the primary priority. Just like safety and structural design is a must, work environmental protection should also be taken seriously. In doing so, workers' PPE or personal protective equipment should be strictly implemented at the site at any cost in any given time. To satisfy PPE standards, each worker should wear proper construction attire to reduce or at least prevent and protect them against the safety risks to be able to achieve health and safety environment throughout the course of the construction. Here are the lists of personal protective equipment in construction. 1. Head protection, safety helmets or hard hat. In construction worksite, there is a higher chance of possible head injury due to falling debris. Site engineers and all construction personnel involved in site activities should wear a safety helmet or hard hat before entering the work site and it should be wear at all times. The safety helmets or hard hat shall meet the specifications contained in the technical guidelines issued by the specialized department in accordance with international standards. It should be inspected by the safety officer to ensure that it is safe and reliable to use. It should be free from cracks and proper shock absorbing lining of the helmet should be in good condition. 2. Foot protection or safety shoes. Safety shoes should be worn by all of the construction personnel at the worksite to protect their feet for possible injuries. The safety shoes to be used shall be determined according to potential hazards and according to the nature of work. It shall comply with the safety standard and specification. For worksite safety shoes with steel toe cap covering and steel sole should be considered, although an equivalent material is also acceptable. If the personnel is working in electrical installation, non-contractive footwear shall be used. 3. Protective clothing or reflected vests. Every construction personnel should wear adequate and suitable protective clothing to protect them from possible hazard due to weather changes, electricity, impacts, and other risks. For site engineers a reflected vest is recommended to maintain visibility when doing site inspections and other site activities. 4. Eyes and face protections. Construction employees shall be provided with eye and face protection equipment when their job had a potential risk of exposing the eyes and face from hazard. They are the machine's operators, welder, bar bender and the like. Those workers whose vision requires the use of medical spectacles shall be protected by eyeglasses with protected lenses, goggles that can be worn without disturbing their work activity. Eyes and face protection equipment shall be free from structural and optical defects. Just like other PPE, it should also pass the required safety standards. 5. Hand protection. All personnel handling rough, sharp and excessive coarse material such as reinforcement bars, rods, pre-cast concrete, toxic, electric and hot materials shall be protected by safety gloves. The material of these hand protections shall be suitable against the hazard of doing such activities. Site employees shall be protected by the different type of gloves according to their job description. For example, chrome leather gloves should be used when handling sandblasting and other materials. Gloves that are made of fabrics are used for handling rough materials. Insulated rubber gloves should be used by electricians. 6. Hearing protection. In the event that noise levels in worksite are too much to handle, ear-protected gear are also needed. Ear-protected hazard inserted into the ear in the form of a headset, foam earplug and earmuffs shall be in accordance with international safety standards. Plain cotton to be placed in the ear just to block construction noise is prohibited to use. 7. Safety belts or safety harness. Site employees working at an elevated level to about 2 meter or more shall be provided by safety harness or belts to protect them from accidental fall. Anchorage point of the safety harness shall be placed above the head of the worker and not less than 5 meters from the ground level. This point should be strong enough to carry a force of not less than 5,000 pounds. The material should be made of nylon or equivalent to at least 1 centimeter thick. 
The hooks attached should be fitted with a double locking device that can be opened only by pressing the two parts at the same time for safety purposes. PPE is a very important aspect to look at in site construction. Observing the above lists of personal protective equipment is a must in the construction site and it should be strictly observed at all times. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.